everybody, it is time. Time now for the November 11th, 2017 installment of my three picks. This is when me and this guy right here, that's right, the almighty coin, we pick three games each week against the spread. And by the way, there's only four weeks left to go. And I can tell you, it's going to be a fun stretch. But before we pick this week's games, as always, it's that time to review the games that the coin and I picked last week. Well, it was a meatloaf week for yours truly. That's right, two out of three ain't bad. Iowa... Well, they ended their game against Ohio State as a big underdog, but came out a huge winner, one of the stunners this year in college football, so that was an easy win for me. Not so easy of a win, but a win I'll take it in Washington State as they beat Stanford. The Cougars were favored by two, ended up winning by three, but hey, a W's a W. But was not a W was the game at Morgantown in which Iowa State, a underdog of two and a half points, lost by four. Cyclones got behind way too early, couldn't catch up, so that's a loser for me. And for the second time this year, the coin, it's El Perfecto, winning all three of its picks. So, we're dead even. 16 and 14, overall record for both me and the coin. And like I said earlier, four weeks left to go. May the best man or best coin win. It is time to pick, ladies and gentlemen. Let's begin in the Big 12 with Oklahoma State coming off the Bedlam loss, trying to regroup and remain alive for the Big 12 title game. But to do so, it has to start with the win in Ames, Iowa. Normally, in the month of November, you get very cold weather and you get snow in Iowa. But it does not appear to be the case for this Saturday. Temperatures will probably be in the 40s, maybe a little rain, but nothing too treacherous. Okay, so that will help Oklahoma State a little bit. What also helps Oklahoma State is the fact that Iowa State does not get to the quarterback often. In fact, only 15 sacks this year for the Cyclones. Meantime, Iowa State only averages 110 yards rushing per game, so that could very well play into the favor of Oklahoma State. I know Iowa State's had a terrific year beating TCU in Oklahoma, but I think Oklahoma State will be balanced, and I think that will help them in a game like this. So give me Oklahoma State minus the 6.5. As always, if the coin that lands on heads likes a favorite, tails, underdog, let's give it a good flip, and the coin is going to take Iowa State. Let's move on to the Big Ten, and Ohio State, the Buckeyes got embarrassed last week against Iowa. Now they're at home trying to salvage the Big Ten East Division against Michigan State. Just like Ohio State, Michigan State only has one loss in conference play. I don't think Vegas is quite caught up to Michigan State just yet. The Spartans are 7-2 this year. Same record as Ohio State. And I know Ohio State, usually in a situation like this, you don't think Urban Meyer is going to struggle in back-to-back -back games. I still think Ohio State wins this game, but Ohio State is giving 17 points. Are you kidding me? 17 points. I'm taking Michigan State to cover the spread. Give me Michigan State plus a 17, just too many points in a game of this magnitude. So give me Michigan State plus a 17, and the coin is going to go with Ohio State. And finally, the SEC, a huge game at Auburn between number one Georgia, number one in the college football playoff poll against 10th graded Auburn. Georgia you know, they are having a special kind of year. Great job by Kirby Smart, just a second year as head coach of the Bulldogs. What does Georgia do so well amongst other things? They're good at containing the run. They only give up three yards per carry. Auburn, we've seen it in recent times. When they don't run very well, Jared Stidham is screwed. He's not very effective if the Auburn running attack isn't on par. That favors Georgia big time. And what also helps Georgia, they've been proven on the road. Remember, they won at Notre Dame earlier this year at that time playing with a backup quarterback. Remember, they didn't have Jacob Eason. Give me Georgia minus the two and a half, and the coin is going to go with, going to go with Auburn. So the coin and I disagreed on all three games. So something will give this weekend and what is a huge weekend of showdowns. Those are my picks for the week. What were yours? Yep, it is that time. Time for me now to go to my real job. Just a reminder, it's going to be a very late post-game show of Oklahoma versus TCU. If you know anything about Oklahoma football or Big 12 football in general, you know the games go very long. So it'll be a late post-game, but I will have it at some point after the OU-TCU game. So check it out. 
And check us out next week. We'll be back with another installment of my three picks. See you next time.